senior reporter at Hotel News Now here at the Alice Conference in Los Angeles. I'm sitting here with Marilyn Carlson Nelson, current co-CEO of Carlson Holdings and former chair and CEO of Carlson. Good morning and thank you very much for uh, joining me here Good today. Good morning, Brian. It's wonderful to be here. Uh, you've been recognized for promoting social corporate uh, responsibility over the years and I'm curious to see uh, what sort of progress you have you know, experienced. Well, you know, I taught for five years corporate social responsibility, but it's really corporate citizenship. And what it means is that we aren't isolated from our communities. We're totally part of them. We need to be integrated in them. When I first started my career, uh, each corporation or business, and sometimes even a, a hotel unit, would have a small budget to do something nice in the community. But the employees didn't really know about it. It was separate. It had a separate governing unit if it was a foundation. Now, more and more, that kind of commitment is moving above the line. And corporations are looking to see how they can serve the common good while using their own capacity. So in our case, in the hotel business, it became obvious that we were a platform to work on Sex, tra sex trafficking of children because it happened often in hotels. We didn't take on malaria or something that perhaps a pharmaceutical might, but we used our strategic capab ca capability and our footprint, our platform to make a difference. I've seen it really all over the country <clears throat> and it's wonderful because the millennials want to work someplace that's making a difference. So they want to know what the corporate stand is. There's even a move in some companies to expect the corporation to take a stand on social issues. And I think some of our leadership companies have actually done that very carefully in consultation with their board of directors, but no longer is business isolated and rationalizing that the only stakeholder is the shareholder. Now the stakeholders are the employees, the communities, the investors, the stake, the share owners, of course. So uh, what you had mentioned actually leads right into the next question. You were an early supporter of programs that would help prevent uh, child uh, trafficking. What, uh, what do you see that the hotel industry can do now? What, what real action can they take? Brian, I am so excited. There's so many passions that I have and that I had that, um, that are taking a long time to actually effectuate change. But honestly, when I signed on to Carlson, Carlson Vague Only Travel, our hotel company, to take a stand on human trafficking, and we signed ECPAT, uh, which is End Child Prostitution and Trafficking, a United Nations organization, we were the first North American company to sign. I think Accor had maybe signed in Asia, but we were the first North American company. 375 companies now have signed, which is fantastic. I went to the Travel Industry of America, TIA it was called, it's since changed its name, but it's by any name the same. And I spoke to them about the scourge of human trafficking and using children for sex. And they all kind of looked at me in polite company in those days, you didn't even talk about such a thing. Today, actually in 19, finally, what, from four to 19, it took that long and that organization now has a whole initiative to prevent violence and trafficking against children. <clears throat> the World Travel and Tourism Council, years ago, the WTTC met in India. And I was still talking to people. This is something that we are uniquely qualified to address. We've never thought that we were going to have any opinion about what went on in our rooms. That's not our business. But when illegal activity is taking place in our rooms and children are being victimized, we have to take a stand. So now, travel industry is talking about training one million employees. The goal is to train every employee around the world. 
this is fantastic. Well, at least in the United States to start, uh, because that's the travel industry organization. Mine is to train every employee around the world. <laughs> but once we train them, what happens next? And I think that's your question. Well, now what we've found is that if our hotel people in a community pull together law enforcement, uh, pull together the um, the prosecutors, pull together doctors, pull together the social service agencies that are have beds for these children and rehab and rehabilitation, that we can put a whole cluster of partners around the problem. And guess what? We make friends in the community and they use our properties and they buy our Carlson Bagwinley travel. So it's a wonderful virtuous circle and children are saved.